greetings from California. I am finally on summer, yay! Um, I just took my last final like last week, so whew, I am so done with school. Woo -hoo. I've been like in summer mode ever since the beginning of the semester. So if you guys are watching this video, this is like my first beauty vlog, which is quite scary because I don't know how it's going to be, but um, I really hope you guys like me. Um, if you guys are watching this right now, this is my May favorites slash current favorites. I don't know if I'll be doing monthly favorites because that's like a lot of like, oh, I really love this, but then all of a sudden I like this and then I don't like change. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff to show you. Okay, like I'm serious, I have a lot of stuff. So I will get started now. All right, my first would have to be my current favorite foundations. Notice I say foundations, so there's just two. Um, my first favorite would have to be, have to be, NARS Sheer Glow. I love this foundation. It's like the perfect color match for me, which is medium one Punjab. Punjab, Punjab, I don't know. But it's like the perfect color match for me. Like I don't really have to blend it down my neckline just because it looks like exactly like my skin. So um, it's very, very good. Uh, this gives you like a semi-matte finish. Um, it's supposed to be like a sheer glow. And it really does make you kind of glow. This foundation is awesome. If you guys want to try it, go to Sephora. They will give you a sample so you don't splurge $42 without trying the foundation. This is $42. Isn't that expensive? Yeah. Ugh. Okay, the next foundation is for um, people who can't splurge $42. And it's the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. And I am in nat natural beige. This was hype too. Like, I go with all the hype. Like, I buy everything that people say, like, I love it, and I go buy it, which is really bad. But um, I really like this foundation because it looks really, really natural, and um, it has SPF 20, which is really, really good. So it's really good for, like, everyday wear. This is, like, watery. Like, the foundation is super, super watery. Um, like, the first time I tried it, like, I usually pour like foundation on the back of my hand and then like I didn't think it was so watery and like I poured it and it just spilled everywhere and I was so mad because I was like so much product that I wasted. It was like just a super fail. But um, yeah, if you guys are looking for like an alternative to Nars Sheer Glow, I would, I would have to agree that it is pretty similar. Um, I just really like Nars Sheer Glow a lot better though. So, but I really like this too. This is more of a like a daily wear thing, while Nars Sheer Glow is more of like special occasions, but I have it on right now, so I guess this is a special occasion. I would have to show you guys blushes. Um, this is from Lorac, and it's called the Baked Satin Baked Satin Blush in Hollywood, and um, this is such a pretty, pretty color. I love it. I don't have it on right now because I was too lazy to clean my brushes, but um, I really, really like this. It came with the Hollywood collection that I got for my birthday, which uh, I, I might feature this in like a tutorial later down the road. But um, it's like the perfect color for like um, like a bronze. Like it's like a perfect bronzer for like really pale people like me. It's like a half blush, half bronzer thing. So it's really, really cool. I really, really like it and it's super pigmented. Oh my gosh. I'll show you guys if you guys could see that. Look how pretty it is. And you only, you only need a light hand and super pigmented. Use a very, very light hand and it looks like the naturalest glow ever. I love this blush. Thank you, Tina, for giving it to me. Thank you, thank you. Next is for the days that I don't feel like cleaning my brushes and I just wanna like apply blush and go. And this is a Stila uh, convertible color. This is like the really small version that I got from like, um, one of their value sets a long time ago. Like I have it on right now, I don't know if you could tell, but uh, I don't know if you could tell on camera, but I really, 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 really like this. It gives you the naturalest glow ever. Like I am not kidding. And these are for the people that are like on the go, like constantly. I really, really recommend this. These two are like my favorite blushes right now and um, they don't break me out. And they're just really, really pretty so, uh, if you guys are looking for a blush, go check on that. Next would be 
um, I guess eye products. I have a lot of eye products. Um, before I started, like before I start rambling on again, um, I bought all these products for myself. None were sent to me. Well, duh, this is my first video. How could they send things to me already? But anyways, um, yeah, I bought this with all my own money. Or, yeah, I bought it myself. So, before anybody starts, I don't know. I don't know how this thing works yet. So, hopefully I don't get any rude comments yet. Please. It's my first video. Be nice. Okay, uh, next would be my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. As you can see, I've had this for a really long time, too. All the font has, like, rubbed off. <laughs> So, um, I love this. This is just like a really, really nice eyeshadow color. Like, I know it's a primer, but I usually just put it all over my lids and I'm ready to go. Like, it brightens my eye area so much. I know you guys have already seen this before, but just really, really like it. I don't know if you guys could see that, but you just apply it over your lids and then you could apply like an outer V color and it just looks so pretty already. Like, I really just use this by itself sometimes, just because it brightens up the eye area, like, a lot. Okay. Next would be my Wet n Wild uh, Vanity Color Icon thing. I don't know. But these colors are, like, super, super pigmented. And, like, these, I think this is only, like, five bucks, I think, for six colors, which is pretty awesome. Um, all these colors are really pigmented. Like, I'll swatch a couple of them so you guys could see. It comes with like three um, shimmer ones and three matte. And I really, really like these. I really, really like this color palette thing. It's just really nice to bring around and it's cheap, so why not? Like these colors are supposed to be like really, really similar to some of the MAC eyeshadows. So um, if you guys look around, you guys will see that these are like dupes for some of the MAC colors. Like I know. This one is like supposed to be like cork, and this is supposed to be, or wedge, and this is embark, and up here is like rice paper or something. I don't know, but these colors are awesome, and it's cheap, so if you guys are looking for some eyeshadows, I definitely recommend this palette. This is the vanity one. Next would have to be my favorite mascara at the moment, and it is the Full and Soft by Maybelline. And I love this mascara so much. Like, I have it on right now. I don't know if you can tell, because I have, like, really baby lashes. But I really, really like this. It makes your lashes look super, super natural and super full. And just, it just looks really, really nice. And, like, the brush or the applicator is so, like, thick that you can actually start tight lining already. You just have to, like, go a little deeper. Um... This retails at like $4 or something, but I really like it. Uh, next would be for my brows. Uh, I'm using the Tarte Emphasize, Eyes, and this is in the color Taupe. Um, I have it on right now. And um, I really feel like this gives me like a really natural look. I don't know. Um, brown is a little too dark for me, but I really like the color Taupe on me. Um, it just, it's waterproof and... You could just fill in your eyebrows really, really nicely with this. This is about $17 at Sephora, but it comes with like a little um, comb for your eyebrows and just gives you the naturalist eyebrow look ever, and it stays on. Um, last but not least is my NARS uh, concealer. I am in the color Custard, or the one that kind of like hit pan already. I really, really like this concealer because it's super creamy and it stays on for a long time. Okay. So I am done, finally. That's all I have. Actually, I actually have a lot more, surprisingly, but I don't want to show it because it's already been 12 minutes and I have to edit it. And so, yeah, I just want to keep you guys posted that my next my next video would be my uh, what's in my purse. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And please look out for my next one. Subscribe, leave comments, and I hope you guys have a great day. Vlog. So, um, yay, claps for me, I don't know. Anyways, if you guys are watching this, I want to thank you so much. Um, or thank you guys so much. I want to thank you. Ooh, this is really hard. School is out for the summer. Yeah, school is out for the summer. Ooh, 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 ooh. This time, ever since like two years ago when it started. Uh,